go 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 home please go home you can come back when i finish with the video no i didn't say stay here i said go thank you i love it when my bugs listen to me but he keeps coming back so clearly he loved me but he gotta wait until i finish with the video that's you he really gotta do that when i finish with the video you can come and bug me on youtube Hi my angel fairies, I hope you guys are having an amazing, abundant day. In today's video, we're going to talk about how to let go to manifest. So a lot of us struggle with this because we are told to think about what you want to manifest, visualize it coming to you and all that good shit. Wasp, please go get a job. What did I tell you? Always messed up with. But anyways, a lot of us are told to visualize what we want to manifest, make sure you believe it's yours and all that good shit, but then we also are told to let it go. And a lot of us don't understand how you are supposed to let it go while also thinking that you're supposed to visualize it and stay in that frequency of having it. But in this video, I'm going to break it down to make it real simple and easy to understand because I finally found a way to, you know, manifest and let go a couple of months back and like my manifestation is there okay baby and what i ask for i get so i'm going to give that to you i'm gonna give this little gift to you because you should do the same so with that being said if you get anything from this video make sure to thumbs up like and subscribe thumbs up means like i don't know why i said that twice and turn over that turn on that post notification button so you won't miss a freaking video from me and stay tuned towards the end because i have a super big announcement that i think we all are gonna fucking love we're all gonna love it so I think you should stay tuned to the end so you can see what that announcement is. But let's get into the video. So the first things first, what does letting go mean? Some of us don't know what that means or how to go about letting go. But I'm going to tell you what letting go actually means in the terms of manifesting. When you're letting go your manifestation, you're not anticipating it. You're not desperate for it. You know that it's yours. So you're not going out chasing it and looking for it. And you're not putting it on a pedestal. You're not putting it above. You're not, you're not saying, okay, I'm going to get here. No, you're already here. You already have what you're manifesting. So why am I chasing it? Why am I desperate for it? Why do I feel like I don't have it? Letting go means that you already have it. So you're going to act as if you already have it. And that's why letting go and act as if and manifestation go hand in hand. Because the art of letting go is just already acting as if you already have what you're manifesting. So say if you're trying to manifest $1,000, you're going to act like how you think a bitch with $1,000 will act. So will you be going, and it's not like you go spend money or you go, you know, buy shit. You could be sitting here like, wow, I got $1,000 in my bank account. I'm so grateful for that. And then just chill out. Like, just chill. Like, go about your everyday life and not saying, damn, I don't have it. Or just waiting for that to hit your bank account because you already have it in your bank account and you're going to act as if you have it so first of all ask the question what does acting as if mean to me if i were if i want an apartment how will i act if i have this apartment and once you figure out and write down exactly how you would act if you were having an apartment or you're manifesting an apartment or you're already in this dream apartment that you want you start acting as if okay so if you're taking baths in your dream apartment, take a bath, okay? If you if you are, you know, doing self-love rituals in your new apartment, you do it right now. That's what acting as if is, and that's what letting go kind of essentially means. Like, you're not putting what you want on a pedestal because it's not like you're attaining it. You are, it's right here. It's not here. It's right here in your soul. So I kind of hope that makes sense okay it kind of is hard to understand i get it but i hope that kind of gives a little insight on what letting go means so now i'm going to tell you guys how to actually let go in the um, practices i implemented so i can get to the point where i just know i have whatever i want in life and i don't have to go searching for it i don't have to put it on the pedestal i don't have to keep asking my ancestors or the universe or god whoever you believe in for what i want to manifest okay so these are like three ways I learned to let go. So my first advice to you is to find a frequency where you can manifest easily that doesn't bring you anxiety, desperation, fear, or like you're chasing after what you're trying to manifest. That you're chasing after what you're trying to ma manifest. And what that means is 
what is the frequency or how will you feel when you already have what you're manifesting so say if you're going to feel happy you act happy now i'm not saying act happy all the time but if you're trying to manifest a certain thing you have to be on that frequency because that frequency matches what you're trying to manifest so it brings it towards you even further and just allows it to come to you even quicker if you continue to be happy and healthy and all that good shit. me personally i pick the frequency piece because I just need peace, I need stability, don't play with me, I'm a Taurus moon, I need that in my life. So I feel like being on the frequency of peace is what brings everything to me and just knowing that I have everything that I ever want in life so I don't have to go out searching for it or anticipate it or get like um, anxiety because I already have what I want. I'm at peace because I'm just living my best life. So my frequency is peace. And so for my stuff to ever always come to me, my manifestations to come into my physical reality a little bit quicker, I stay on that frequency. And the reason why I picked peace was because it's pretty easy to stay in there. Now, now it's easy. It really just depends on your personality. My personality is really pretty much chill. Like I'm very quiet. I'm not that outgoing, but I can get outgoing if I can, but mostly I'm very chill and just at peace. So I pick the frequency of peace instead of if I my personality was really giddy, really happy, I'm very excited, then I would pick the frequency excitement, okay? I would pick that emotion to manifest all that I want because I pretty much stay in that emotion all the time. So I pick peace because my personality and the best way for me to like actually match, match the frequency of what I'm trying to attract in my life is peace. It's super easy to do. Um, I don't have to force myself to stay in this frequency. So I highly recommend you pick a frequency where you don't really have to force it too, too well to stay in. And that is just very easy to bring about, especially when you might feel mad, sad or angry, you know. Because emotions fluctuate so pick a frequency that is really really good for you that you can stick to that's super easy and just brings it towards you a little bit faster you can actually test this out because that's what i did and i noticed it worked now once i picked that frequency i had to work on staying on that frequency because as you know my past i was depressed i was very angry and all that good stuff so these past three years i was working on that and i had to work on how to stay in that frequency so i'm not going to say it's going to be easy to first stay in that frequency but once you kind of get it down pat it's going to be very easy to continue to bring and stay in that frequency so you can manifest so you're going to have to take a lot of hard work and dedication but it can work the next thing i highly recommend or my advice is that you figure out why you're so desperate for this manifestation to enter to your into your physical reality right now and once you find out that reason behind why you're so desperate you have to work on releasing that reason so an example is say if you want to move because your at home situation is not the best you don't feel happy peaceful or any of those things so you're trying to manifest a new place to stay in okay so what you would have to do for now to remedy that situation is find peace within yourself. So you can match the frequency of where you want to go and where you want your manifestation to be to bring it into your physical reality. So say if your apartment, you're feeling happy, you're feeling peaceful, you're feeling tranquility, you're gonna have to figure out a way how to feel that energy where you're staying at right now. And I'm letting you know it is very, very doable. I'm going to post a link or a video up here to show you guys how you can survive or thrive in toxic house, toxic household and just be happy. But that is one example of how you have to figure out why you're desperate or anticipating or putting this manifestation on a pedestal. And once you work on that reason and unpack it and do that shadow work, you're gonna understand how to finally release that idea so it can come to you even quicker. So that is another thing that I highly recommend for you guys to do. Um, it's something that is pretty much shadow work. I highly rec recommend doing journaling to figure this out, but you're gonna have to sit with yourself and you're gonna have to find your truth. You're gonna have to be honest with yourself. And yeah, highly recommend that. And then my last advice is to remind yourself that what is yours will never be denied you. And what that means is if you are meant to have this manifestation or whatever you're trying to manifest, it's going to come to you no matter what, period. It's nothing that's going to delay its um, 
coming on to you because it is yours period divine timing you just have to trust in divine timing as well so a lot of us think that because we're not getting it what right here in this moment that is unattainable but that is not the truth you have to wait for this divine timing because what you're manifesting will come to you no matter what if it's meant for you and it will come to you exactly when you need it now a lot of us probably have to go through a couple of lessons to get what we want a lot of us may have to go through a transformation and learn some new things and become a new person to manifest what we want. So there's certain things and certain like events that have to happen in order for your manifestation to come to you. So if your, if your ancestor is trying to lead you down a path and you're resisting it, you're kind of delaying your manifestation. However, it's still going to come to you because it's if it was meant for you it would be yours but sometimes you have to learn some lessons sometimes you have to go through transformation sometimes you have to heal sometimes you have to learn some new things so with that being said make sure you are being open to receiving your manifestation and um, open to changing and taking risks as well so that's what i highly recommend and to tell yourself every single day whenever you're trying to manifest something and tell it to yourself not in a way of desperation but affirm it be like okay i know what is mine if it's mine it is meant for me and i know that what i'm trying to manifest is mine it was meant to be mine so i have nothing to worry about because it's on its way to me it is mine so why am i chasing after it i'm anticipating it because at the end of the day it's going to be mine no matter what time it comes or how it comes it's going to be mine you have to affirm that you have to believe that and if you don't believe it right now in this moment, fake it till you make it, baby. You got to repeat it yourself because eventually your brain is going to believe that. And it's going to help you manifest. It's going to help you manifest your things even faster, even quicker. And like just speeding. I'm not going to say that. Very speedy. So yeah, that is pretty much my tips on how to let go when manifesting. Um, if you guys have any questions on this topic that I didn't answer in this video or any um, information that I didn't put in this video, leave them down below and I'll get to them. But we are finally at the end of the video and I can finally tell you guys my announcement. Okay? Why well, I'm looking at myself because I'm gorgeous. I don't know why I fucking asked that question. But next week is going to be an awesome fucking week for the simple fact that I am finally moving. I am moving to a new place. I'm going to be doing vlogs and all that good shit. And it's because of you guys that I can freaking, you know, have a place of my own and start doing way more with this channel than I can ever imagine. So I just want to really thank you guys so, so much for your support, your love from my shop, from my YouTube video, from my social media, because of your love and support and encouragement and all them good vibes that you're sending me. I was able to manifest one of the things I wanted to manifest this year right on time and I can't wait for all the good shit that is going to come about um, this transformation and I'm going to bring you guys along with me so of course I'm going to be doing moving vlogs I'm going to tell you guys how I was able to get the exact apartment that um, my ancestors wanted me to get because they have been very vocal in this process like when I was doing my tarot readings, they was letting me know which apartments was for me and which ones was not, which ones I was going to get and which one wasn't. So I'm going to help you guys um, connect with your ancestors so you guys too can figure out which apartment or which thing is yours, just like that. So it's going to basically be called My Ancestors Helped Me Picked Out My Apartment. So yeah, thank you guys once again for all the love, support. And I can't wait for all the new videos that's going to come. I'm going to finally show you guys my whole routine. I'm going to show you guys how I decorate the place, the moving vlogs, all that good stuff. So be ready for all that. And leave some videos down below that you guys would like to see um, in that new place. Just leave them down below and I'll definitely do them. But yeah, that's my little announcement. I hope you guys are excited just like I am because I am beyond excited. I'm so freaking happy right now like finally like ugh. so yeah thank you so much for watching the video i like i said i hope you guys enjoyed it and get something out of it and if you did make sure to thumbs up subscribe turn on that post notification bell so you won't miss a thing and comment down below one thing you're trying to manifest when you comment it you're speaking into existence it's already yours so just trust the process make sure to stop by my shop if you want to see black women as supernatural ethereal beings that we are and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, loves. We got our differences.
I'm sorry.